Welcome to Delacroix, Louisiana, the first stop for On the Trail with Rudy's Redfish Series. We're here tonight at Dockville Farms at the captain's meeting. It's a beautiful place. The captain's meeting is to bring everybody together. They draw their numbers. They see where they're going to leave in their boat flights. We talk about everything, a little safety meeting, talk about the pros and the cons, what to do, what not to do, and uh, eat some food and have a good time. We're going to be at Sweetwater Boat Ramp doing boat check with our flashlights about 4.30. Scott and I will be out there in the crowd. As you back your boat in, we're going to be there to just check your boxes, check your life jackets. At 6.23 at sunrise, I'm guessing right around 6, I'm going to be letting you go over. There's not a lot of clouds in the air. You guys, I got an unbelievable feel. I am totally thrilled this year. Y'all are fishing for $70,000 at each event. Again, let's give a big round of applause to the parish. Let's give a big round of applause to Rita with the Moreau Foundation and her whole family. And uh, I'll be walking around, guys. I will see y'all for boat check in the morning. Y'all know the routine from here. From North Carolina to Brownsville, this is the best place we go to, right here. Chalmette, Louisiana, De La Croix, right here below New Orleans, the best in the world. Uh, going in tomorrow, we've got a spot that we're going to try out. It's produced fish for the last two days, and uh, you know, it's our number one hole, and we're going to hit that first and, and hopefully get some weight and you know, try to upgrade the rest of the day. So that's pretty much the game plan for tomorrow. We've been here a week, and uh, we've been grinding hard, and it's been a tough bite this week, honestly. Tomorrow is supposed to be a little windy, but the sun's going to be out, which is going to really help us out a lot for us. We're a sight fishing team. Uh, so for us, we've got some areas of water that have uh, got some clean water. So if the sun comes out, we'll be able to pick and choose through our fish and hopefully get a, get a handful that we need anyway. 33 teams are registered for this two-day event. Up for grabs is a total purse of more than $70,000. Here's the 2016 schedule for Rudy's Redfish Series presented by Hook Spit Rods. For more detailed information, visit redfishseries.com. Day one of the 2016 Rudy's Redfish Series. Welcome to the On the Trail with Rudy's Redfish Series. We're doing boat check right now here at Sweetwater Marina, Delacroix, and uh, it's mandatory that these guys have a Type 2 or better, being that a Type 2 upright your face to the sun in case of unconsciousness or knocked out. Uh, we want to take care of our anglers. Me as a director will make them wear the right stuff or they will not fish. Well, we're getting ready to get started. I hope it's a good day. Breakfast of champions. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Premier protein. I have All right, boys. Have a great day and good luck, my friend. I got a good idea where I'm going. We'll see what happens when we get out there. The tide should be a little lower, a little breezy out, but it should be good. Hopefully. The sun will come out today, finally. Been here for four days, only saw the sun once. First morning, boat check's done. We're fixing to let these teams roll out. We've got a bunch of good sticks. We're going to see some big weights today come to the scales. I can't wait to see what they bring to us. Coming up, we will be on the water for coverage of the Rudy's Redfish Series. This episode of the Trail with Rudy's Redfish Series is brought to you by Haney Boats, Mercury, Chris Marine, Coastline Trailers. Some are making long runs south, but Kevin Aiken and Jamie Pinter are staying close. And this is where we'll begin tournament coverage. Now that we got wind and clouds early this morning, we're basically going to just blind cast and just try to find them where they've been sitting. Because the fish are in here without the sun being out and the wind blowing as much as it is, we can't see them. So we're just going to kind of go where 
they've been sitting around and there they are right there. Just like that. Good one, Kevin. Hey, this one might be a little big, James. He's looking like he's a little off right now. Seven and a quarter. Hey, start out in the morning. A couple 14 and a quarters. Good. Delicate redfish on a gold spoon. In the dark. In the cold. <laughs> this is amazing. All right. The game plan today is we still got a little what? Northeast wind, so we're gonna keep hitting some north bank. The wind changes. We're gonna head more south. Get some more south bank. Wait for the sun to come up. There he is. There he is. Those damn jig heads you got, man, it's stuck in the net like crazy. Started to dig out of 26 on a quarter inch fish. Right on the eight pounds. Caught them uh, tailing on the bank. Um, about 34 casts of the morning. Great way to start the day. Good job, buddy. Let's check on Kevin Shaw and Jimmy Dooms. We've got fish in this flat up in here. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to position the boat right so we can make the wind cast with the wind behind our backs. So we can get a long cast. These fish are spooky. The problem we had with that this morning is it's all grass in here. So we're trying to work it that way since the tide's a little lower. So what we're throwing now is we're throwing half ounce uh, Cajun Thunder copper spoons. We're just working it slow, letting that spoon just kind of do a little butt wobble. All right. All right. It's a fish. It's not the size we want, but it's a fish. Fish definitely measures in the slot limit. Four and a quarter, four and a half. The water has dropped a few inches overnight, which might pose a challenge for some of these teams today. When it's low water, we've been uh, able to find some schools of fish in this dirty water, which is uh, a little different than normal. But we just kind of ran across these and caught them earlier in the week. There he is, Toad, Toad, good shot. Can we try for a double? Yeah. Let me try to get a double. Fish are measured, buddy. That's 27 inch fish all day, 26 and a half. Come on, baby. He's eight pounds. Yes, sir. Good job, partner. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. The fish have been real finicky this week. So what I got, I got a little three inch gulp, bit the tail off of, rigged it backwards so that you can throw it a whole lot further. And it also works a little better that way. That's when you're like that, like my boys doing. <laughs> oh, yeah! Last guy. Oh. One fin too long. That's all right, little buddy. We appreciate what you did for us. With a 27 inch maximum length for redfish in Louisiana, some teams are struggling to find fish that are short enough. The majority of saving our parish over here in, you know, Chalmette, Hopedale, Louisiana, Reggio, uh, we are, uh, we're fishing clear water. We decided, you know what? We're Texas guys, the clear water game is what we do. So condition wise, hey, it's easier for redfish to see a lure in clear water than it is in dirty water. You know, especially if they're not feeding. So we went with a little fishing area that had a little bit lighter weight than what's in the dirty water. But we figured, heck, we can come over here, if we can put 16, 16 and a half pounds, with two redfish in the box, two 27 inches, that it would give us a better opportunity to win a tournament. Yeah, that's a big one. Let's see what we got here, Mr. Kevin. Uh-oh. And we caught Perfect. a big one. 
Yeah. Perfect. Right off the bat. Yes, sir. <laughs> that, that. that right there is what we came back here for. One more of those, we're going to go start chasing some bigger ones. By the way, that one right there is only eight and a half. I'm just letting you know. This tournament's going to take 17 pounds a day to win. So we need one more of those today to be in that range that we want to be in to win this tournament. And I'll tell you right now, my partner Jamie Pinter keeps on fishing like he is. I'm gonna sit back here and eat a sandwich. I'll just go net his fish when he catches it. Y'all stay tuned, see how we do. Good job, Jamie. Coming up, we'll get back on the water for more coverage of the Rudy's Pro Series presented by Hook Spit Rods. But Rudy's has been a big deal for us. We love the events. It's always kind of a hope felt event. Every event you fish is, everybody knows everybody and it's just great camaraderie. Rudy's Redfish Series is a family-friendly event. Find out how you can be a part of the action. Get online at rudysredfishseries.com. Back to series coverage. This episode of On the Trail with Rudy's Redfish Series is brought to you by K&J Marine, Heat Guard, Ace Healthcare. About one o'clock, uh, we're sitting on a big 16, maybe 17 pounds. The fishing's been pretty good today, and the weather's been pretty nice too, so we, uh, we're gonna sit here and fish for just a little bit longer, see if we can upgrade anything, and we're about to head in. There's a school of fishing here, and what's going on is they're moving around this little square we're in. Sometimes they'll be over by that boat, sometimes they'll be over by our boat. We just gotta keep trying to bounce that school back and forth till we get the two right fish. That's fish. Huh? Come on, baby, please, 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 please measure. Boy, that's a good fish, Mark. Some same fish we was trying to catch this morning, remember? You good, you good. Perfect fish. There's Delacro right there. And we're catching eight pound redfish right here. Look how close Delacro is. It's right there. Half a mile from us, a quarter mile. And we're catching redfish right here. You don't have to go anywhere when you come to St. Bernard Parish. When you come to Delacro, you're catching fish immediately. This place is beautiful. Dodge country without a doubt. Make a trip to Delacro. Nice work, Brad. Oh, you mean her little one? Look at the other one looking real like it. Yeah, what do you mean? Hi, right, you're free. We got an upgrade. Yeah, I don't know, Kevin. He's there. Perfect. Eight pounds. We caught real good weight out of here this morning. You know, you know, happier, more than happy what we have. It was pretty spectacular this morning. We probably caught 15 fish or so. Uh, and then we made a few moves and, and didn't have any luck in our, in our other spots. But we're gonna come back here and here in the morning and see if they, we can get them to eat. And we know there's bigger fish here. We just gotta get them to eat. Time is almost up for the team. So now it's time to get back to the marina for weigh-in. Looking at the leaderboard, Austin Angel and Lance Reynolds find what they are looking for, with two weighing in at 18.47. Scooter Dalio and Trey Pearson are in second with a total weight of 17.18. And Charlie Barton and Brad Sawyer weighing in at 16.96. Wow, what a great day. We had a team bringing a fish that almost weighed 11 pounds, a single slot fish, 27 under. Unbelievable weights we've seen here in Delacroix, Louisiana. Just phenomenal fish, all copper whoppers. A lot of people came to play. Just big, big fish all over the board. Hook Spit Nation in the house, baby. We're here in Louisiana, ready to catch some more redfish tomorrow. Haney Boats, Hook Spit Nation. Y'all okay. weighed in a total weight today in y'all's fish of 419 pounds on my scale out of 57 fish. That's pretty much a lot of fish, guys. Let's see some big ones tomorrow because somebody's gonna get a big check. On the trail with Rudy's Redfish Series, the boys. 
Coming up next, we'll start day two coverage of Rudy's Redfish Pro Series, presented by Hook Spit Rods. On the Trail with Rudy's Redfish Series is also brought to you by Kenzie Jewelry, Budweiser, Shock Tall Lease Service. Welcome back to St. Bernard Parish, Delacroix, Louisiana, host city, the first stop in Rudy's Redfish Pro Series. The boat's just left out on day two. Everything's looking beautiful, sun shining. It's gonna be a beautiful day. I cannot wait to see what kind of weight these anglers bring into my scales. We will start final day of coverage with third place team, Charlie Barton and Brad Sawyer. Okay, we're gonna ease in here. We had a school of fish that's been holding here pretty good. We're gonna to try to ease up on them and see if we can catch a few out of there. There have been some of the smaller fish that have been in here. That's been the problem is catching smaller fish. So that's what we're gonna to try to do is get two in the well here. Hopefully we can catch a couple of maybe six pounders in here and get the day started off. I got it. Austin Angel and Lance Reynolds are the day one leaders, and they are on a few reds feeding in the shallows. There he is. Not a fish, though. Not a real big fish, but it's our second keeper of the day, so we'll take him. Oh, dang, they're going to side cast him. Got him, you got him. Got him. That's a good fish. That's a really good fish. Throw the motor off. That is a fine fish right there. There you go. That's an eight pounder there. Look how fat that fish how is. Short he looks. Oh, he's over eight. Eight and a quarter. We're in fourth place with 16 pounds, 16 and a quarter pounds. That'll put us right at 33 pounds. Um, I would still feel well more comfortable to go in with 16 and a half to 17 pounds. And that would that would probably keep us at least in a place we're in, or we might get to upgrade. Just depends on how the field falls today. Let's check on Austin and Lance one more time. Big era on the podcast. That's him, dog. That's him, dog. Oh, measure. Come on, baby. Come on now. There you go. He's got to be. Oh, it's, it's, it has to be an ogre, right? Ah! <laughs> threw, threw, threw to some nervous water. A little point right there. A little current. Bait hit the water and he jacked it. I mean, it was, wasn't expecting. We've been sight fishing all day. I threw, a, threw my bait out there to get some line out. Just, just got lucky. I don't know, I don't know. We got a few more hours left. We're gonna just keep picking away at him. Maybe get the right one. There he is. Got him? Oh, look at the one up there. Two or three of them. That sucker measures, dude. That is He's a, a stud. stud. He looks short. He looks real short. That's a stud. Fun. Long time coming for me, folks. Oh, yeah. Easily. All day long. All day long. Oh, yeah. He ain't found it. Dude, he's eight not even. He's eight plus. Boy, oh, yeah. He's he's almost nine, bro. Good. Look. Oh, yeah. Good. Now we can throw this one away. This will be close finish for these two teams. Let's now go to the weigh-in and see how everything went today. This was in first place yesterday, these boys. Team, team, team C Angel, Big Lance. I think it's 16, boys. Boom! Stop moving, let it like 16.30. They are leading right now with 34.77, 34.77. Give them a big round of applause. They brought it yesterday and they brought it today. 
And there you have it, Austin Angel and Lance Reynolds is your Delacroix winner. Total winnings over $43,000. In second place, we had Paul Braley and Bart Carin receiving over $10,000. And in third place was old Charlie Barton and Brad Sawyer with $5,500. Join us for the next stop at Aransas Pass, Texas for the Rudy's Redfish Pro Series presented by Hook Spit Rods. Where over 33 teams of the best redfish anglers take to the water for their shot at over $70,000 in cash and prizes. For more information, please visit redfishseries.com. We would also like to thank our sponsors for making this show possible. 